would just open up YouTube because what else are you gonna do in a hospital? You're tied to your bed, you can't get up. <laughs> when I opened YouTube, one of the first videos that got just recently uploaded at the time was um, was one from Black Pen Red Pen, and so, um, I, I just clicked on it because I've been watching his his content for quite a while now. I think he was at around fifty thousand subscribers when when I I detected him. So that was like. I think 2017 I just wrote out of the blue a comment you know that, yeah I'm sitting here battling cancer and um, you know watching black pen red pen videos and um, you know and I didn't think anything about it you know I think it's just a comment that gets lost in the thousands of other comments you know nobody's gonna care about that which is why I normally don't comment much you know like you just comment and it goes you know now here he comes into the story he he responded to that comment he saw it he responded and he said oh you know best wishes to you and uh, he said i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna give me your email address i'm gonna send you a, a shirt you know just to brighten up your day even though i was super happy on my <laughs> medications um anyways um so he did and we exchanged emails and from that day onward you know we started writing you know he, he sent me the shirt and he also said you know like hey it would be cool if you you know if you keep me or us you know sort of updated what's going on how's your treatment going how's how's the whole story going and so i said yeah sure no problem I, i'll keep you updated because you know maybe it helps somebody else right yeah. somebody else going through this you know and right now he's at three hundred thousand subscribers um it's very likely someone else of his viewers is also battling this stuff so um, or a loved one of someone is battling this stuff and you know if it helps even if only one person why not okay Lars this right here is for you and I'm so happy for you congratulations on beating another cancer you have been through so much in the past 5-6 months and for the people who would like to know more about his entire journey he has a video where he talks about all the things that happened be sure you guys go check it out, the link will be in the description and we will also be doing a live stream interview so be sure you guys leave your comments down below if you have any specific questions that you would like to ask. Today, we will finally do the integral of the cube root of tangent square x. For loss. Here we go. I will take a u sub first. I will let u equal to cube root of tangent to the first power only, right? x, like this. And I would like to isolate the x first before I take the derivative. So to do that, let's raise both sides to the third power and take the inverse tangent after that. So we will end up x equals inverse tangent of u to the third power, like this. And then we differentiate. So the derivative dx right here will be, well, here we get 1 over 1 plus, and the input is u to the third power, and be sure we square that. And of course, don't forget the chain rule. Differentiating uh, u to a third power, we get 3u squared, like this. And then we have the du right here. So now we can take this integral to the u world. Check this out. So here we go. This right here is going to be the integral. But earlier, I only let u equal to the cube root of tangent to the first power. This is to the second power. Therefore, this part is u to the second power. So let's put that down, u to the second power for the original expression. And then the dx is this right here, so I'll just put that down. We multiply by 3u squared over, this is of course, we can work that out, which is 1 plus u to the sixth power, and we have that du right there. So now we will just clean things up a little bit. 3 in the front, and then integral, and of course u squared times u squared, that will give us u to the 4th power, that will be on the top, and on the bottom, let me write down u to the 6th power first, and then we put on the plus 1, the u. Now, we are not going to do partial fractions, in fact we did that back in 2017 for the integral of cube root of tangent to the 1st power x. A lot of you guys like that video, I actually don't know why, but you know, just let me know. Anyway, here, what we'll do is, we will first factor out the denominator. Well, I'm going to look at this as u to the second power and then to the third power. 
And here the one is of course the same as saying plus 1 to the third power. Because this way we can look at this as a sum of two cubes. We can factor that out pretty nicely, right? So we see this is equal to 3 all the way in the front and then the integral. And of course we still have the u to the fourth power on the top. And for the bottom, of course, factor that out, we first get u squared plus 1 as the first factor. So let me just put that down right here. And next, we will have to square this, which will give us u to the fourth power. And then minus this times that, which is just u squared. And finally, we will get 1 squared, which is just 1, so we plus 1. So this is how we factor out that. And of course, the du. Now, we have to think about how to make things happen, right? How to make things happen. Everything's possible, right? Okay. You guys also know my strategy. I like to ask myself, wouldn't it be nice? On the top, we already have u to the fourth power. Wouldn't it be nice if we have minus u squared plus 1? Wouldn't this be so nice? Yes, because this and that will be the same. We can just cancel things out. Very nicely, right? But of course, we cannot just put this down without fixing it. It's okay, it's not bad. It's just a small fix. Because we can just go ahead and add u squared and then minus 1 and pretend nothing happened, right? So this and that is still the same as u to the fourth power. Okay, to continue this, this is what we can do. Keep in mind, we still have that 3 all the way in the front, right? So I will just put down this 3 right here. And then we have the integral. Now, we are going to pair up these three terms over the denominator, and as we all know, this and that will cancel. Therefore, we just get 1 over u to the second power plus 1. So that's nice, 1 over u squared plus 1, like that. And then the next thing is that I would like to write this over that. So we put on plus, which is just u squared over this. So we have u squared over, but don't forget, this is what? This is still u squared, I mean u to the 6th power plus 1. And better yet, I will actually look at this version instead. <laughs> so this right here, again, it's u to the 6th power plus 1, which is the same as this. Okay? So I will actually like to write down the denominator as, perhaps I'll just keep it as 1 plus u to the 3rd power, and then to the 2nd power. Yes. This one, we can just do a nice substitution. Unfortunately, we used the u already, so do a little w substitution or whatsoever that you would like. Lastly, this over that, so we have minus 1 over, of course, for this one, I'll just multiply the out, which is just u to the 6th power plus 1, du like this. Alright? Now, here is the du. Let's write down the three first. This one, doable. This one, easy. This one, we did it already, so here we go. Let's put down a parenthesis for the result of the integration. The integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 in the u world is precisely tangent, inverse, right, inverse tangent of u. Right, so let me just put that down right here. Uh, u in red, why not? Next, this right here, again, do a little substitution. Let w equal to the, uh, u to the third power, and you actually end up with a one third. Okay, so if you put a three right here, divided by the three, so you have that one third. Perhaps I'll let you just write that down. We have to make sure we have that one third, and it's also an inverse tangent situation of this input, which is u to the third power. So we did this, we did that. Now this right here, I will just put down the result that we did in the previous video, right? This is minus, again, watch my other video for the following, okay? So, minus, the whole thing here is the following. I need another parenthesis. For this, we will get one half inverse tangent of u minus one over u, okay? And we will have plus one over two square root of three. To be honest, in that video, I put down a wrong function. I put down inverse hyperbolic tangent. But because of the input, I actually have to use the inverse hyperbolic cotangent instead of tangent. So in the previous video, I make a little note on the comment in the description. I put down inverse hyperbolic tangent, but it should be the inverse hyperbolic cotangent because the input right here is 
1 over square root of 3 times u plus 1 over u, like that. And the reason is because this input is not in between of negative 1 and 1, so we really have to use the inverse hyperbolic cotangent to get that integral. You guys will see in the video right here. One more part, we also have to subtract 1 over 3 inverse tangent of u to the third power, like this. So parentheses, that, and then another parentheses in black for this one, and then another big parentheses for that one. So now we're like, like that. So now we'll actually combine some like terms before we go back to the x world, because we see that this is positive one third inverse tangent of u to a third power. Likewise, we also have this right here. And don't forget this is minus negative one third inverse tangent of u to a third power, right? So here we go. I will still keep the three on the outside. We have three parentheses and we have the inverse tangent of u. And then next, one third minus negative one third is going to be positive two thirds. So we just add two thirds of the same guy right here, which is the inverse tangent of u to the third power. And then don't forget to distribute this negative into here and here. So we get minus one half inverse tangent of u minus one over u. And then negative times that, which is negative one over two square root of three. And this is the inverse hyperbolic cotangent, write it down this way, it's much cooler. And then here we have 1 over square root of 3 parentheses, u plus 1 over u, like this. Cool. Now, we are actually going to go back to the x world, and also distribute the 3. So here we go. This right here, 3 times that, it's just going to be 3, and we have the inverse tangent. Well, u is what? That, right? So we have the cube root of tangent like that. And the next, this times that, of course, the 3 cancels out, so we just get plus 2, and this is inverse tangent of u to the third power. But don't forget, if you look at this and uh, cube both sides, we get u to the third power is equal to just the regular tangent x. So we actually put tangent x in here for the u to the third power, like this, right? And then next, we have minus, and don't forget to multiply 3 and this. So we have 3 over 2, and this right here we have the inverse tangent. u is that, so that's the cube root of tangent x again, minus, this time we have the reciprocal. So if you do the 1 over, you can just change the tangent into the cotangent. Don't forget the cube root though. So this is the cube root of cotangent x. And then, 3 times this, I will put it down for you guys like that, like this, minus 3 on the top, over 2, square root of 3, and then of course you write down the rest, right? So, I know, I know, I know, I messed up, but whatever. <laughs> and then, I should have put it down this way first, but anyway, 1 over square root of 3, parentheses, u is the cube root of tangent x, and then we add 1 over, which is going to be the cotangent version, so cube root of cotangent x, like this, close parentheses for that, close parentheses for that. Cool, and finally, of course, this and that is just x, so we will just you know, fix that, and um, I also fix that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the final answer is 3, and this is inverse tangent of the cube root of tangent x, right? And this is just nicely equal to 2x, so we add 2 times x, right? Because this and that, just x. And then right here, we we'll just leave it as how it is, which is minus 3 over 2, inverse tangent of this guy, which is the cube root of regular tangent x, minus the cube root of cotangent x, and then here is the DO. I'll show you guys how to simplify this. Everybody knows square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to 3, but I know 3 is the same as saying square root of 3 times square root of 3, because this way I can cancel this out. So in another word, this is minus square root of 3 over 2, right here, okay? Perhaps the over 2 should be in black because I didn't do anything with that. And then, of course, we write this down again, which is inverse hyperbolic cotangent. And then, I will just keep it as how it is. So I'm not going to multiply this thing. I will just say 1 third in the square root right here, 
and this is the parentheses cube root of tangent x plus the cube root of cotangent x. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and we are all done. How can we forget about the plus c, right? So don't forget plus c. Finally, I will box the answer right here for you guys. And uh, just the last time, please do not ask me to check the answer by differentiation. Please do not ask me to check the answer by differentiation, especially for this one. Oh my goodness, this is so satisfying. This is so satisfying. Maybe that, that's the reason why that you guys like the integral of the cube root of tangent to the first power x. But let me know. And again, loss is a survivor. Stage 3, cancer survivor. Such a good news. And thank you so much for all the support throughout the year. I know you subscribed to my channel back in 2017. And it's just amazing how... Well, you thought about my channel when you were in the hospital and you were watching my video and then you were leaving some comments and then... Yeah. And then, most importantly, I wish you have a healthy safe life for the rest of your life and as always that's it so they scanned my brain luckily nothing there um, they did another ultra scan of my organs so i was lying there like 20 minutes and he would constantly put lubrication on his thing and look 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 and then you know some area he was looking he put some more lubrication he's still looking in that area and then i, and then I thought oh my god you know he's, something is gonna be there if he's looking at it so because he just sits there quiet looking at a computer like this you know not saying anything some of you may know that notice that in the comments i mention always a heavy session chemo um, that's actually a term i i came up with when um, by that i meant this whole week where I would be put, you know, they would <laughs> put medications into me every day, you know, like so. Yeah. Again, after finishing the first cycle, I went on to the next cycle. And uh, before I did that, that was when Black Pen Red Pen did the 100 integral video. Yeah. That was actually when he mentioned to you guys about me when he said in the video, you know, like, yeah. This guy is battling cancer, let's wish him well.